Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Shamplu, in the fucking building, baby. Um, what's really good? What is really good? We gonna. Uh, I'm playing some Dear Esther right now. I actually got this on the Steam sale. It's only like two forty nine or some shit like that. Um, this game isn't really like a game. Like talking about, it was, I think it was used as some type of like test or some shit like that. I can't remember. But uh. I'll get into that some other fucking time. What we're going to talk about is PC gaming, console gaming, and the Steam sales. First, we're going to get this whole Steam sales thing out of the way. Uh, fucking uh, Steam sales, straight beastly. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Uh, and not damn, someone took a massive shit up in here. Yo, good damn. Drop bombs on them. <laughs> but nah, man. Uh, Steam sale recently ended not too long ago. And, um, uh, the fuck is that? What <laughs> the fuck? Oh, well. Uh, the Steam sale ended not too long ago. And, um, I gotta say, uh, I loved it. It was fucking awesome. Every day, didn't miss it. It was just great. The deal, son. Um, now, even though I was a, I was getting games and shit, I did notice that it could have been better. But at the same time, like I used the sale to get games that I didn't really, uh, of course, that I didn't have, but that I missed out on. Uh, a lot of good games that I kind of missed out on. That I went ahead and copped. Um, I, I spent a good amount of money, but at the same time, it was nothing in comparison of what I would have been spending on any other platform at the time for any of these games. Um, the, the deals were beastly. Definitely enjoyed it. Um, Y'all know that i uh been, uh, been a console gamer for some time, but at the same time, I have never have not just been a PC gamer. I've always made sure that I've at least had some type of gaming PC at any time because I always want to be able to play a certain game if it's good or great at any point. You know, I'm um, actually going to be recent, upcoming pretty soon. I'm going to be uh, upgrading and shit, and I ain't going through that. Fuck that shit. I'm going to be uh, upgrading and shit pretty soon. Uh, but as of right now, you know, I'm, I kind of have like a low-end, you know, kind of gaming PC and shit. Uh, so, you know, it's it's all good. But um, transitioning from consoles to PC gaming is something that I've done before. And I've done the transition from PC to console gaming before as well. I've been gaming on PC ever since I've been, you know, real young and shit. I've been gaming on consoles since I've been, you know, a lot younger as well. I've always kind of like done both. But there have been periods when I've just kind of been like, okay, I'm mainly PC gaming now. Then there's been other times when I've been mainly console gaming. Uh, through you know through the recent years that I've passed, ever since like uh, you know PS2 and the original Xbox and GameCube, I've been mainly console gaming, and then going on to uh, the PS3 and the 360. Uh, I've been mainly console gaming. I've always kind of touched a PC here and there as well at those times, uh, too. But now I see myself gravitating over to PC, um, really kind of diving into this whole digital distribution thing and really seeing what it has to offer. I'm loving Steam. Steam is, is just dope. Um, I love the fact that you can, you know, you can just use everything. And this is all stuff that I've known before, you know. But, you know, everything is there. You know, I can play music. I can do any of my games i can you know talk to people through skype uh you know cross game chat with that shit or whatever party chat however you want to say it you know um all of it is definitely dope i'm loving it son i'm loving it but at the same time i'm not one of those people that would just fucking like up and get rid of um my consoles just because i prefer to to play on the pc right now i'm I ain't doing that shit. That's that's definitely not something I uh, I would do. I'm not gonna invest money into consoles, find something that's better, that's a different platform or whatever, and then just 
sell my consoles because there are value there is a great value in consoles and everybody should know what that is that's the exclusive titles that you can only find on consoles that's it and you know when it comes down to it man all my favorite games all the games that i consider personally to be m the greatest games at least majority of the games that are on those lists on my list is our console exclusive games you know i mean at, of course you know pc has you know emulators and you can play those games but i'm talking about initially when they launch and what they're meant to be out for they're usually always console games or games you only find on the consoles i mean you can just look at this generation uh by itself you know what i'm saying um but, I mean, you got The Last of Us coming out. I mean, that's not... I haven't played it yet, of course. But, I mean, that's a game that looks amazing. I want to play that. Last Guardian is something that I hope hopefully comes out. I, I really want to play that, too. I think those could be two potential games I could consider to to uh, put in that list. If, you know... If they reach uh, expectations and stuff. Um, but... Other games that I have played in this generation that I know, like Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, Heavy Crack, you know what I'm saying, that that Heavy Rain, you know, the Uncharted series, you know, um, there, there's uh, other games such as Valkyria Chronicles, you know, there's, there's games that you only find on the consoles that are irreplaceable, so of course I would never get rid of my consoles, I, I could never do that, there's always, there's a value there. Uh, that could never diminish off out of anything, and uh, it just is what it is. Um, but uh, besides that, I mean, you know, I really haven't found any reason for me to turn on my PS3 lately, at all. You know, um, there's there's nothing that I really want to uh, play that's upcoming coming out anytime soon besides The Last of Us. Uh, besides that, I mean, maybe, I, I really can't think of anything off the top of my head, but The Last of Us is like that must play for consoles that I just have to have. Other than that, I mean, I'm fine gaming on the PC. I mean, I get hell of, hellified fucking deals. The performance is better. The graphics, I mean, hey, why not? You know, if I know there's a better thing out there, why not fucking go for it, you know? But I mean, that's, I guess that's, uh pretty much that uh oh can y'all hear that i'm actually watching uh my niece over here and shit and she's starting to get a little restless and everything i'm about to actually uh put her to bed pretty soon but uh she's precious though little baby eight months old Chill. but uh yeah, let me wrap this up but um but all right, guys, you know, that's what I really wanted to talk about, just the Steam sales. I got a good amount of titles during the Steam sale. Um, I didn't spend that much in comparison with, the, you know, how with the games that I really got. And I got a lot of games, man. Um, I spent anywhere from on individual games. The cheapest I paid for a game was like two something for The Witcher. And then like the most I spent was like 15 bucks, like. You know, I kind of passed up on Max Payne 3 and uh, a few other games at this current time because I have a lot of other games to play. I just started playing Deus Ex, and I've had that ever since the holiday sale, fucking from the winter sale last year. So, you know, I mean, I, I'm uh, I'm really enjoying that game also. That game is fucking sick. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, but at the same time, y'all, you know, play what you want to play. As long as you're having fun, dive in and have a hell of a time, man. Um, you know, it just is what it is. But as of right now, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, uh, uh, getting back into PC gaming. I'm going to be upgrading, upgrading my, uh, my rig here really soon. Um, you know, make shit, make sure my shit's all good. Andy Martyr went ahead and hit me up. Um, and he helped me out. I had a lot of people help me out, honestly. I was like, Icy Rhythms, Rage Rehab, you know, uh, so, you know, it's, it's all good. Um, loving all the uh, info that everybody's been giving me. Uh, definitely appreciate that. But anyways, guys, your boy Shampoo. Game on. Play what you want to play, son. I just want to let y'all know about me and what I'm doing as far as gaming right now. I will be getting into that more, uh, more heavy crack really soon. Just to let y'all know. Continuing those. And um, 
if you got if you want to give it a try give pc gaming a try man because i'm definitely enjoying it you can use uh your 360 controller, your PS PS3 controller. I mean, shit. I use my PS3 controller on Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, which is a hell of a hell of a fucking um, fun ass game online and offline. Um, you know, uh, Sniper Elite. I actually got that for 15 bucks on Amazon. They were exposing the hell out of Steam with that deal, and um, it was um, it was awesome. Sniper Elite is a shit. It's my crack right now. That and Beat Hazard Ultra and Need for Speed are my fucking shit right now, man. Fucking love that shit. It's awesome. Um, so anyways, guys, I'm dragging this on a little more, just rambling. But anyways, I will holla at y'all later and uh, peace out, San Chia. I like how this game is, though. It's a little, it's very different. Peace. Chia. Alright, yo, what up, guys? What's going on? I'm gonna, ahead and, gonna go ahead and attach this to the end of this video. Um, gonna go ahead and talk about um, the games I got during the Steam sale and everything. Um, but basically, you know, this is my Steam library right here. Ain't got a ton of, uh, of games and everything, but, you know, it's so good. Uh, but, uh, anyways, you know, what I caught was um, Alan Wake and America's Nightmare. American Nightmare, or whatever I said, American Nightmare. Um, that was like seven, like seven bucks, something like that. Uh, went ahead and bought Altitude, bought Batman Arkham City, bought Beat Beat Hazard Ultra, of course. Got uh Beyond Good and Evil. That was a game that I'd never played before, and I always heard good good things about it for a very long time, even till this day. You know, uh. It's one of those games I just never got around to playing, so I went ahead and copped it. It was like, it was, going, it was on sale for like a dollar and some change or something like that. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get it. Um, got Binding of Isaac, got a Dead Island. Actually, Dead Island was actually gifted to me. So, um, so thanks for that shit. Definitely, you know who you are. Um, Dear Esther actually is a, uh, it was on sale for like two something. Um, that was the, uh, that was the game that I was just playing. Um, Fallout New Vegas, went ahead and copped that. Um, I beat Fallout 3, um, and I played a little bit of New Vegas. So, you know, I went ahead, I was like, you know what, I definitely gotta get my own shit for, uh, for PC. So I went ahead and copped that. Um, someone gifted me Frozen Synops or Synopsis. I can't remember who did. I want to say it was... Chew, I think I'm not. I'm not sure, but it just came out of nowhere. I was like, "Oh shit!" So, you know, thanks for that. Um, I went ahead and bought um, Metro 2033. I heard it's like one of the better or probably the best first-person shooter this gen, something like that. So, you know, I definitely wanted to get that. Um, so I went and cop that. I also got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. That game is fucking fun as shit. Definitely loving it. It's crack. Love the online mode, man. Uh, I love that sense of speed, man. I just love those type of racers. That game is dope. I've been wanting it for a while, but then I saw it on Steam. The Steam sales like five bucks. Copping it. Uh, went ahead and got Orcs Must Die Part One. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it at first, but you know it was a tower defense game, and tower defense games are usually fun. And then you know I was told by several people that it's you know it's just a fun game overall. It's really good. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. And I know Part Two is about to come out pretty soon. Um, you know, let me scroll down a little bit here, actually. Um, yeah. But I know Part 2 is coming out, um, really soon. And I know it's going to have co-op, but, uh, I guess, you know, it is what it is. And I might get that depending on how much I enjoy Orcs Must Die, the first one. Um, let me see. You got, uh, Red Orchestra 2. Um, this game was on sale for, like, five bucks. I was kind of unsure about this game. Uh, when I seen it, and then someone gave me a guest pass, and I was like, okay, you know, uh, I might as well try it out, so I turned it on, a few people jumped on with me, and um, at first, I gotta say that I was like, uh, I mean, it's okay, it's whatever, I was, called, I was calling it Red Garbage Stra 2 and <laughs> shit like that, but then as I kept playing it, and I started to understand how you play the game, because this game is very, very fucking, like, realistic, I would say, like, it's it's crazy like it's it's unlike 
the commercial kind of first person shooters that are out just plaguing everything right now and um it's kind of a breath of fresh air and i and i enjoyed the online mode i mean that's all i played of the game so far i played nothing but the multiplayer and i enjoyed it but at the same time like i had to actually put in a good amount of time to actually get to the point when when i actually was like okay you know what this is worth the money to get it so i went ahead and copped it um Got Renegade Ops, definitely had to get that game. Was a huge fan of an old school NES game called Jackal back in the days, man. Um, that was my shit. Renegade Ops is basically Jackal on fucking crack, son. Um, it's a beast, uh, four players, dual analog stick gameplay, fucking love it. Uh, it's, it's just dope. It's a fun-ass game to play. You're getting, like, uh, helicopters and stuff. It turns like, choplifter type stuff. I mean, it's, it's just dope game man um got sanctum also um i think it went on sale for like three something or whatever sanctum is basically it's another tower defense game but it's a four player tower defense game i'm pretty sure and um i only played it one time so far but i've seen the potential and i've seen how good it could be and how fun it could be with with um if if i you know put time into it and stuff but the first time i played it i played online and um, I was just kind of learning the game, but I kind of, like I said, I saw the potential of it. It was a first-person, like, tower defense game, and uh, it was pretty cool. Um, then I got Sins of a Solar Empire Trinity. This game went on sale for, like, five bucks. It's a very high-rated um, RTS, and I have to say that this game is beyond fucking deep. Like, it is crazy how deep this shit is. Um, like, one day I'm gonna actually sit down and try to, like, play the single player and see all the in and ins and outs of the game, but just from trying to attempt to play online with going through, like, a few of the tutorials, like, you know, I kind of understood it, but it was completely lost at the same time. <laughs> um, let me see, you got another game, uh, Sniper Elite, y'all seen... Uh, Y'all definitely going to see me do commentaries of that shit. Loving that shit. That game is dope. Got Swords of the Stars 2. Um, game is definitely... Um, looks interesting, I'll say. I looked at some screenshots, and I was like, okay, like this don't look... Uh, it looks pretty dope, but it looks like something similar to Sins of a Solar Empire. But actually, that game was gifted to me as well. Um... The cat that got it, which was uh, Prodigy, 12 Prodigy, um, <coughs> he had, like, uh, several copies, so he was like, look, I'll just, you know, hook y'all up. I was, like, I was like, okay, cool. Um, also bought Splinter Cell Conviction. It was a Splinter Cell game that I never had. I never played. Played all the other ones. Um, I definitely wanted to cop it. Um, I remember when it came out, it was perceived to be pretty pretty damn cool, pretty dope. Um so definitely had to get it, and uh, it was one one of those Splinter Cells that I missed out on. And the last one that I got was the Witcher one. I got the Witcher Enhanced Edition. Um, all these games are just games that I got during the Steam sale that I've called out. Um, I would have got the Witcher 2 as well, but I wanted to play the Witcher one first, and you know, and I and I spent a good amount of dough already, so I was like, man. You know, I'm 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 not gonna buy anything else. I passed up on Max Payne three and a few other things, and I gotta up upgrade my uh, PC pretty soon too. Um, which, like I said, I've been saying it for a while, honestly, to a lot of people that's been talking to me in Skype chats and shit. But I'm seriously gonna be doing it very fucking soon because it's much needed. Um, but uh, but I game pretty comfortably as it is right now, so it is what it is. Uh, but, um, that's pretty much it, guys, man. I basically used the Steam sale to get games that I kind of missed out on or whatever. Or, you know, you know, it's pretty much it, man. Just add to the collection and everything. And it's, it's dope. Definitely hot, son. But, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'll let y'all later. It's your boy, Shamplu. Like I said, check out my other channels, Music Central and anime central son peace out